we are getting a bit of a late start here this morning. And I did come back to the model table last night. And I did a little bit, not very much. We'll look at that in a minute here. Um, oh, by the way, this is the uh, the old Steinle res that we mixed up a, a year ago and I uh, couldn't get the lid off. Well, I took somebody's suggestion and I turned it upside down in about half an inch of boiling hot water and uh, well we got the lid loose. We also got uh, my dish uh, with a bunch of uh, Steinle res paint in it because I guess the heat uh, you know expanded the, the air in there and yeah well I don't need to explain what happened. Anyway we can take a look at that. I've already looked at it it's uh, well we'll look at it in a minute. Anyway let's uh, let's go back to uh, about 12 hours ago well, more like about 18 hours ago now. It is still Sunday. Episode 809 has uh, been uploaded for oh, a couple hours already. And uh, there's a little bit of coffee left here. But there's something I want to show you. You probably already know what it's going to be. Okay, I have not tried this, so I don't know if it's going to work. Probably because the camera's running, it's not going to work. Oh yeah, there we go. I'll uh, put the macro lens on and we'll, we'll zoom in. I'll do it again. Okay, let's try not to bump this out of the field of view here. There we go. Okay, there's our 0.5 millimeter nozzle. Now the thing is to try it out. I'm kind of anxious to try it out with the Steinle res just, you know, un undiluted. Uh, several of the viewers mentioned that, uh, well not several, but uh, more than two, mentioned that uh, Steinle res does not do well with Mr. Color. And different people indicated that the... Uh, to me a thinner, uh, you know, is the way to go. So uh, we might be trying that, but that, that's going to be uh, tomorrow, uh, which will be in the episode you're watching right now, actually. Um, I know this is getting, getting confusing. It's like one of those old Star Trek episodes where they have this uh, space-time continuum or whatever going on. Anyway, yeah. Now I was thinking it might be kind of fun to put our super macro on and uh, um, I just want to loosen this here. I can't uh, talk and work at the same time. Usually be before, I don't know if it makes any difference or not, but usually what I'll do is I'll loosen the needle before I do anything up here at the front end. That way there's less chance of damaging anything. Now, what I had started to say was, why don't we put our, our super macro on, and uh, I'm trying to do this so you can see what I'm doing. I'll, 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 I'll get it out eventually, folks. I'll get it out eventually. Now, put the super macro on and uh, compare the two, okay? I don't need to worry about getting them mixed up because there's going to be a, an obvious difference between the one that I drilled out and the one that I didn't. So just let me recompose here and uh, yeah. Okay, we're set at F8 for you camera buffs. 
uh, this uh, uh, super macro, the more you stop it down, the less sharp it is. So I know I can increase the depth of field here by going all the way to 16. And you'll notice it, it is kind of sharper all over, but the... Okay, we are probably at 11 right now. Um, you know, the one that I drilled out looks pretty ragged, doesn't it? I'm looking at the monitor. Uh, and also, it seems to me that if the one on, you know, on our right, the smaller one is, is 0.3 millimeters, the one that we drilled out to 5 almost looks larger than 5. Um, <clears throat> you know, but the only way we're going to find out if if I uh, was able to improve things or not for the Steinle res, that is, is to actually try it with the Steinle res. And um, people were wondering why did, why did I not just order the proper, you know, nozzle to start with? Well, I could have done that. Um, I think they're only about twenty bucks here in in Canada, and. Uh, uh, the thing is, I had this, I had this uh, extra one, uh, just doing nothing, and I had the fun of giving this a try. You know, it's uh, I, I like uh, experimenting like this. Yeah, that that looks really, really ragged. Let's see if I can maybe just move over a little bit here and. I think that's about as sharp as I can get the tip. Yeah, that, that looks pretty ragged. So it, it may not spray well. It could be that the spray needs something really smooth to, uh, if you know what I mean. And it, it, it could be that the inside of the, the channel where the paint is going to flow, it has to flow smoothly. I have no idea. Um, well, let's try it. Now just a quick update here. You remember yesterday our battery was dead on the caliper, but fortunately we had a spare. Well, I did take the good one out after we were through there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try and remember to do that from now on. But I did order new batteries. And I ordered these ones here. They should be here in a week or two. Probably won't be needing them for a while. Now I know that I'm probably going to get a comment from somebody saying that I probably could have got a dozen of the no-name brand for the same price. Uh, but you know what? These four batteries are going to last me the rest of my life. <laughs> so long as I remember to take them out of the caliper when I'm not using them. Yeah, I guess that little caliper must slowly drain. Now, I had said that it would be easy to tell which is which. Like which is the big one and which is the small one. Well, you can if you've got your stronger reading glasses on. Well, this is the large one. So I'm going to try and do this on camera here. It, it might not be a good idea. Normally what I do is I, I hold the airbrush uh, uh, up and let the nozzle fall down onto the, onto the uh, needle. You know, I might be trying to do something here that is not a good idea. because I don't want to damage the tip of the needle. So I'll just be very, very gentle here. Okay, there you probably saw the needle come through. Okay, so we got it. And then this, this piece goes on. This is just for anybody who does not know, you know, what, what an air, how an airbrush goes together. And uh, once again, I'm doing this very, very gently so that I don't damage the tip of the needle. Okay, now I, I know there's a little wrench comes with this, but for the last year or so, I've, I've been just doing it finger tight, and it, it seems to it seems to seal. When I when I pick it up, I'll do it properly. Okay, next one that goes on is this little piece right here. Maybe I'm just going to reposition myself here.
Okay, and let's put our good nozzle in a very safe place because it's the only one we got now. Now the needle is still loose. I don't I don't push hard. Just just I just want to make sure it's seated and that's all. Then I tighten down the collar. Now sometimes this threads on really good and sometimes it doesn't. Well, today it did. Okay. I think we're ready to uh get our spray booth set up. Okay, I thought before I get it all messed up with paint here, we may as well have a nice close look and see how much does the needle uh, come out. I'm going to just draw it back. It could be that, like that one viewer mentioned, that uh, because the needle does not match match up perfectly the way it's supposed to, it might spoil the flow. Well like I keep trying to tell myself here, there's uh, only one way to find out and that's actually try it. Now I know we did talk about this about two years ago and uh, it's getting kind of painted over here but it says best applied with a five millimeter or larger nozzle and uh, airbrush set from 20 to 30 pounds so, so we'll uh, We'll try it at uh, 25 pounds and see how it goes. Well, here's what's happened, folks. It's taken me a lot longer to set up here this afternoon than I thought it was. And uh, I've got somebody coming over again uh, later for coffee uh, this afternoon. And I've got to get this video wrapped up and upload it to YouTube before he get, comes over here. Uh, and uh, I did want to mention though that I am finding that the railing that, has, that came with the hood is much more delicate and fragile than the railing that came with the Bismarck. I've already kind of bent it a little bit here when I was uh, trying to get these uh, pieces of wire underneath. That's just to hold it up off the paper so that it doesn't stick to the paper. Uh, in the uh, lucky event that the uh, airbrush actually works with the Steinle res. Steinle res. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to have to say thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.